In today's video, I want to show you how to display sections based on conditions. So this section right here is going to show when users are logged in, and then this one here is going to show when users are logged out. I'm going to show you how to set it all up, but before we get started, if you're brand new to web design, I have a free course in the video description below. Go ahead, enroll, and learn how to design professional-looking websites. On the other hand, if you haven't purchased Divi, if you purchase Divi, I have a course specific for Divi. This course will help you get, get up and running super fast and you're going to be a Divi Pro in no time. Again, link to that is in the video description below. Let's get started and let me show you how to use conditions in Divi. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to hover over here on the top, click on page to create a new page. So in this example, I'm going to call this page uh, sign in and then click on use Divi Builder. Click on build from scratch. So here we're going to need two sections. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to add a row in here and then close and then add another section like that and add another row. So to distinguish these two sections, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and add a background color on the bottom one. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, go to my background and we are going to add our color. So like I said, I'm just going to add a very slight gray so we can see the difference between the two. Next, I'm going to add some spacing because right now um, we don't have enough padding. So let's go ahead and add 8% to the top and the bottom. And we want this to be uh, the active preset. Okay, so now the color has been changed. So I just need to remove the color over here on the background. All right, so now that we have our two sections, the next step now is to add our information. So what we need to do here is this section here is going to be visible to anyone who is logged in. So in order for us to achieve that, I'm going to come over here to this section, go to advanced, and then I'm going to go to conditions. So this is where we can add our specific condition for this section. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and we are going to say log in status. Go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say display only if user is logged in. So that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and enable this. Now, if you, ha if you have a caching plugin, you need to uh, exclude this page from uh, the cache plugin. Anyway, that's fine. Let's go ahead now and save. Now, we can go in and start adding our content. So let's first of all add a text module here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our dummy lorem uh, text and then we are going to add a heading to this so that this looks realistic. So let's give this a heading two like that. And I want everything to be centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight everything like that and then center it. Okay, great. So we're off to a good start. What I'm going to do next is to save this and then add another row. In fact, two rows. So in one of the rows, let's add a video. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. All right, great. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to add another one here. So let's call this video. In fact, I should have duplicated that to uh, save me some time. But anyway, that's fine. So for this video here, let's add some text. So we are going to say this is part one or part A like that. In fact, you know what? That looks greater or looks better if it's centered. So let me just set this to heading three and center it. Save that. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and then drag it over here to the right. And then all I have to do now is to go in and say this is part B. Oops. Right. So now that I have this all set, this section here is going to be available to anyone who is logged in. But what if we want this part here to be for anyone who tries to access this page when they are not logged in? So let's create our content here. So first of all, let's uh, add some text. In fact, you know what? Why don't we just duplicate this uh, text over here on the top? Let me just close out of here because we are going to need some sort of a description. So I'm just going to drag it all the way down here like that. Okay, next we are going to now add a login form. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for login. There we go. Right, so that's going to be our login form. So I don't need all this text. In fact, you know what? I'll leave it as it is. So let's just add some dummy text again like that. But this time we're going to add a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to say login here. All right, great. So now that we have that, 
I can go ahead now and save. So what we're going to do to this section now is to go in, and this time when I go to advanced, then go to conditions, my condition here is going to be the same, log in status, but this time I'm going to say display this only if logged out. And then I'm gonna say yes and save. So what we've done here is we've uh, used a single page, but with uh, different messages. This will make your website dynamic. And now, of course, this is a very simple example, but can you imagine what you can do with this on um, if, you, you, if you were to apply all these uh, conditions? So let's just take a look at what else you can do here. So if you come back over here to conditions, you can see that when you click on this plus button, we can do this by tag, by category page, by date archive, search results, post pages, media, projects, you know what, we can do so much. Look at this, number of views. So you can show content based on the number of views. The list just goes on and on and on. So I'll be exploring more uh, as time goes on. But now let's test this page and see if this is working. So I've just saved this. Now let's exit and see what happens when we exit this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on exit. So this should show us the videos, part A and part B, and not the other uh, content because that one only shows if you're not logged in. So right now we are logged in. So this page is still loading. Now to make our videos look better, why don't we add some overlay images? So I'm gonna come over here to overlay, click on this plus button. Now I don't have any images in my media library, so I am going to upload some videos. I've got some on my uh, downloads folder. So I'm gonna go with this one here, click on upload image. All right, so now I'm going to go into design and my icon here is quite big, so I need to reduce that. So let me go to my play icon, custom size, and then reduce this a little bit because it's a bit too big. So we're gonna go with 54 and save. Delete that, we're gonna duplicate this one here, drag it over so it saves us some time. And then I'm just gonna make sure my text here is under. Okay, so that's my second image. So I'm gonna save this page. And when I uh, exit the Visual Builder here, this is how this is going to work. So this section here is going to show because we are logged in, but this one here will not show because this only shows if you're logged out. Let's test this and see if this is going to work. So I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder by clicking Exit Visual Builder. And now we can see that this section here is showing and that's because we are logged in. So now let's log out of our site here. So I'm gonna click on Log Out. And this time we should see our login page. So remember the name of our page was called sign in. So I'm just gonna go in and click on sign in. And there we go. So now it's showing because I am logged out, but as soon as I log in, we are going to see the other page with the content. You can use this for membership websites. You can use this for many, many applications. So this is my, so this is my quick tip and this is using Divi conditions.